definitely take advantage of it. Oh, that actually made no sense now I think about it. Okay, so getting into this, let me make sure I add the name. Alright, so what's up, people? We got Cake versus Owl. Fixing that for you right there. And so Cake going with the black and white one, Owl going with the brown one. This is part of the Owl Gauntlet. So far, he has only lost two games out of... I think it's like six or seven sets so far that he's played. Or Actually, no, I want to say six. Six sets, right? Um... So far, nobody's really had much of a chance. And once again, um, you've got uh, me, Dwight Fang, and Chris on mic. And oh, and he just ended Cake right there. And he went for the footstool for extra measure, but wasn't able to get it, unfortunately. Get back here. All right, so um, one thing that you'll notice that uh, Owl loves to do is he loves to do the wall jumps at the ledge, and he's able to get a lot of different things off of that. So, for example, he'll do wall jump dare, um, great way for catching people. The other thing he'll do is he'll do wall jump into B reverse can, so that's a great way to get back on stage. Not only does it throw out a hitbox uh, frame one, but it will also, if it does manage to hit and if they do shield it, then it will be you'll be coming back on stage um, very, very safely. Um, um. You won't be able I'm to get so, stage back from that. My phone just like randomly decided to disconnect from the Wi-Fi. So. Okay, yeah, no, I've, yeah. I've had an issue with Thumb Discord if that's what you're using. I understand. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, I don't know what it is, um, but that Discord app on phone is kind of buggy with the voice channel. Okay, so for you Duck Hunt mains out there, don't ever try to dare uh, can. It, it just doesn't work. Unfortunately, okay, you got footstool. <laughs> the owl special. Um, so, unfortunately, you cannot dare the camp just because our hip our hitboxes for that are actually really bad. Um, they're only out for one frame. No, our dare, it's a little bit disjointed, but like that fair, um, just, I mean, that dare doesn't really connect with CAD. I think I might have seen it happen once, but the chance of it actually working are just like so minimal that... It's just, you might as well either just go away and ferret, or just air dodge it. The fact that their dare is multi-hit probably like, makes it worse as well. No, multi-hit is actually a good thing, if anything. Um, it goes through a lot of things. People that can't, that counter, that get countered by multi-hits, it's effective for. Um, the other thing too is like it brings them up a little bit, so you can know what type of setups you're going to get out of it too. It can also help with uh, falsing people with to drop their shield a little bit early. So, no, multi-hit is a good thing, it's just the fact that the hitboxes last for one frame, and it's deceiving when that second hitbox comes out. It comes out way earlier than you expect. So even though the move looks like it yeah, does it's connect... Pretty slow. Um, frame 14 isn't actually too slow for a dare, I would say. Um, it's just that the biggest issue is just that the hitboxes... a lot. The hitboxes are kind of slow. Yeah, sometimes you'll have a bad ping. That happens to me. Um, right now, the, it does look smooth, but um, bad ping can ruin a lot of things. I don't know what was up with that. Um, I think they're testing the connection because it's really crappy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I think it might be cake. Yeah. That was really bad. Like, it came out two seconds after I did it. Okay, yeah, no, that's... I've seen that happen to me before. Alright, let's try it again. Um... I'll just hit random. Yeah, if that's the case, then cake, um... Might be something. It's really weird for me because people have really good connection with me, but then oftentimes I don't have good connection with them. Oh, do you have your stream turned off by any chance? Because that can ruin it. My what? Is the stream turned off for you or not? One, oh, there's kind of... better now. It's, it's slightly better. better, but I can. There's still a delay. 
it's not as bad. With, I still feel it for sure. It, it feels like bad, it feels like regular online delay to me now. Um, yeah. Yeah. Definitely is a. I mean, that's kind of unavoidable sometimes. Yeah. I just don't know why that the ping will just randomly better sometimes and randomly will be worse. I I don't understand that. Okay, good delay right there from um from owl right there. Or is aerial safe on shield? Um, so fair, if you space it properly, you can make it safe on shield as long as you do the fade back with it. Um, you also got to make sure you fast fall with it too. So that way you get the least amount of the, uh, landing lag as possible. Okay. Okay, he's gonna. Okay, he he was a little bit too slow on that up smash, but otherwise that was gonna intercept. All right, so good awareness by Cake there. Um, the main reason why he was able to get that was because his percentage was lower than Owl's. So yes, and that was a guaranteed up air for him. So those are Canisa combos are things that um, Duck Hunt should look out for. Um, definitely one of our more underutilized tools, kind of more for specific reasons. It's like you never want to really damage yourself. But it can lead to some great and fantastic set of store help as well. Can Duck Hunt like um, combo all three of his projectiles? Or... Combo from he can combo off of each one of them. But like you, if you meant like can he combo one and two all three of them, that would be the most amazing setup in the world. Theoretically, it is possible. You'd have to start off with a gunman, then you'd have to hit it into a can, and then you'd have had to throw that clay pigeon People. ahead of time. Not really a viable setup, I guess. Oh, so unfortunately that uh, that dare that fastball dare is gonna end it for Owl. Definitely a misinput from him. So Cake with the first two stock on Owl. <laughs> what? That's a sign that I can't actually say. Any laggy dare, like often does it. I feel like a laggy dare, like Martinez, easily like. Who can SD with that? I don't really see people SD with that one as often. Well, just like they're going really deep and barely make it because, like, their dare is super laggy. It is. Oh, uh, we lost some made Overwatch. So let's see what Owl is able to bring next time. Um, hopefully this lag doesn't really get into, in the way again. Ooh, this is a... It's pretty bad. Yeah. Let's quit out of it. Yeah. We'll try it again. It's kind of scary to think that Duck Hunt is heavier than Zero Suit Samus. I find that fact hilarious. Um, I think... Isn't Ness heavier than her too, if I remember correctly? Yeah, sure. and so... Yeah, Ness is heavier than Marth. Um, I don't know that being a fact. So is... Uh, Ness is heavier than Palutena as well. Yeah, no, I know Palutena. All the... Yeah, I think every single girl is lighter than them in this game. Like... No, except for Samus and Korn. Yeah, regular Samus and Korn. Yeah, I forgot about Korn. Korn. Um, I also like, imagine Robin, too. Is Robin. 90... His way is, like, the same as my second way. Okay. Definitely doesn't feel that way, for sure. This, Nintendo has, like, some sort of, like, fetish with making girls white. I don't know, I don't know like, why they want... I feel like they think it's a good way to balance them out. Yeah, because, like, um, the main reason... Now, with Zero Suit and Sheik, it makes sense. Just because they're able to be so dominant, and they just control everything heavily. Like, um, Zero Suit's high-risk, high-reward. That's what her playstyle is off of. Sheik is just, like, the most extreme safe character in the world. And so, basically, you know, if you do get hit, then it's going to hurt bad. Zelda is the exact opposite. Yeah, I was about to say, Zelda's the Zelda's only the one. Zelda, I know they're trying to go for a glass cannon type of character, whereas, like, you know, she can kill you, like, at... I mean, she can kill people at... Yeah, I was gonna say, like, 20% easily. Um, 
So that was their that was definitely their main way of thinking with making her. She's just too slow though, so it doesn't really Yeah, she like, doesn't really work not... well as a glass cannon, I'd say. It's really like bad. Ganon. Yeah, she's Sounds definitely good. more of like a Ganon type, I would say. Like if she had fast aerials, like if she had her old uh fair bear from like melee, um I would say it'd be okay. Or even her brawl. Her bear is her only like a safe aerial. I'm pretty sure it's not safe on shield. Not safe on shield, but in neutral, if you stay around, it's safe. That can imagine. It's just, I have no idea why they decided to put so much lag on Fair and Bear. It really makes no sense. They, you really have to sweet spot them, so I don't... <laughs> Okay, so if Cake actually decided to uh, do that F Smash further out on the stage, she actually would have been able to catch Owl. Hmm, so I'm not sure what Cake was really trying to go for there. Um, I'm gonna guess that was a misinput of him just doing those double jabs. It's because you have an aggressive um, who? Okay, um, I was being like pretty aggressive actually. Yeah, no, that's the thing. Duck can be an extremely aggressive character if you know how to do it properly. Um, especially with the edge guards. He's got like some of the most aggressive edge guards you will ever see in this game. <laughs> no, I'm gonna be honest. I feel like same with Mildred, people think I'll go with Hansen, but he's really good. Oh god no. I mean after, everybody saw Ranai and they know what he's capable of, so I was gonna take yeah. that game um, fairly convincingly with um, and just a one stock, but only 27% on him. So let's see if Cake is able to bring it back for the next game, and hopefully we don't have that bad input lag. No, I thought you were just gonna like oh, Cake was born for a second. Okay. Yeah, so this is only game two, dog. You won the first. I used to think Duck Hunt was super annoying, but like now, he, I realize he's really not. In most cases. Honestly, no. You need to play. If you play against like a very, very good Duck Hunt main, basically they can just make it so. Um, even when you know what options are coming for, they can basically punish you for just like even choosing the right option. If their wall is on point, um, there's this one there's this one duck hunt we have named Croy. He has like the most on point wall you will ever see from a duck hunt, and it is extremely hard to get around. So basically, if you play against a duck hunt that's just gonna shut down all of your options and just basically won't really try to kill you or close it out, so, like, that can be very frustrating. Yeah, in a way, except kind of in an opposite way. Um, the other thing is, if you do play against an aggressive duck, I think it'd be really fun. Yeah, aggressive. In general, fighting aggressive people is much more enjoyable. Oh yeah, no, that is fair. Right? Okay, so we might have. Okay, so it looks like Cake's uh, connection finally cleared up. All right, this is good. All right, so getting into it, we're going. We're getting our last stage on Omega um, War Plane, so basically FD. So let's see if Cake can get to it. Uh, so far, Cake hasn't been doing too bad. Um, definitely keeping it even. The first game, of course, Owl did SD at a fairly low percent. Um, so as long as we don't have any more unfortunate deaths like that, um, that should be a fairly close game. Okay, good awareness for Cake to use that can. So seeing Cake going for a lot of these nares, I. I think he might be trying to utilize the sour spot I was talking about earlier. Um, so one thing that's interesting that um, not a lot of deck cuts do about, and I didn't know about until uh, Wispay told me, was that if you use a duck hunt sour spot there, it can actually lead into a tech chase, and if they miss tech, you can lead that into an up smash guaranteed. Um, so that's definitely something that we gotta look out for. Um, the other thing too is like if you read their techs, you should be able to get that up smash as well. I think I saw uh, Cake trying to actually do that because he did um, Verse, um, Air Order, Nair. Um, I think we were trying to get the second spot, but he missed it before. Yeah. Now I saw him going for plenty of Nairs earlier on. Alright, so that up smash is going to take that first stock. 
Um, I would say out of all of our smash attacks, that is the most reliable one out of all of them, but even still, you can SDI out of it. Um, I'm not sure what the proper SDI is. I think it is, like, up and in a direction. Uh, that's what seems to take people out of it most of the time. Was only Duck Hunt smash attack buffed? Um, they got buffed once to... They got buffed twice. So one of them was in uh, knockback growth. And the other time, um, yeah, one no. time they did um, increase the hitbox sizes of them. So before the hitboxes were actually smaller. I think it was like in the second or third match they did that. Um, but yeah, I mean, they're still... He hasn't really been getting like, good buffs. Nah, he didn't really ever get... He never got... The most meaningful one was the one where they increased the hitbox size of his of his smash attacks so other than that he hasn't really had anything too meaningful um but the thing is like since all the other characters were getting nerfed that in the long term actually did um help him quite a bit in some matchups especially the the needles nerf the cheat and the, get, there, I, the getting rid of the 50 50 that helped us significantly there are some low tier that have been either nerfed or not helped at all to us which is kind of just it. The only one was um, Jigglypuff. Definitely got nerfed. And that's gonna take it right there. Good awareness of the dares. King, oh, King Diddy was actually nerfed. Like, three times. Oh, yeah, I kinda remember hearing about that. Oh, yeah. Um, Cake, um, you actually did fairly well there. Um, yeah, that was good. I have to rewatch it again to really know what was going on there. So, yeah, my bad for not paying attention as much, but I bet you if I rewatch it, I can point out some things for.